We rely on the internet daily, tapping into a vast wealth of information for various reasons. But navigating the internet to locate the information you need involves a bit of a journey, hopping through a range of computer networks, mobile apps, and web browsers. People constantly post information online, whether on social media or corporate sites. But how such a plethora of information is stored, or how the whole process works, let's discuss that first. All of that information is stored in data centers, physical places that combine massive computing power to run programs, store data, and link people to the resources they require for their tasks. These centers, sometimes termed server farms, house a number of servers arranged in tiers. They deliver integral services like storing information, managing backup data, and providing networking. Nearly all businesses and governmental bodies require a data center. Some build and manage their own, whereas others rent server space from co-location facilities or use public cloud-based services from giants like Google, Microsoft, or Amazon Web Services. So what's the link between our data center and the internet? To grasp this concept, you first need to have a basic understanding of how the internet functions. Data centers connect the World Wide Web via a network of cables using top-notch devices. While every cable is interconnected in some fashion, where they immediately lead can vary. Just like in a regular home setup, data centers use either coaxial or fiber optic cables to connect modems to the internet. In the digital age, any computer can directly interact with another and get the needed data data centers, the heart of internet storage. A data center is like a big warehouse full of servers with massive storage capabilities. No tech expertise is needed here. Now, imagine you want to download a game. That game is stored on a server within a data center. All you need to do is access it by using TCP IP protocols and the game data transfers from the data center to your computer. This process applies to any internet use. When we use social media, we're actually using data center storage to access all the visible resources on the website or app. There are different types of data centers that exist, and choosing the right one depends on your business requirements. For instance, enterprise data centers. An enterprise data center owned privately handles all corporate data and supports crucial applications. Some businesses prefer to construct and manage their own data centers, known as enterprise data centers. The popularity of enterprise data centers has dwindled over the past decade, owing to the rise of co-location and cloud services, which many businesses now prefer. Edge data centers. Edge data centers are a recent addition to the data center family. They deliver data center services to end users directly. An edge data center is a smaller facility situated as close to the users as possible. This setup, with multiple small data centers instead of one large one, reduces latency and delay. Micro Data Center A micro data center is an edge data center that has been scaled down to its smallest size. It can fit into a small office room and is designed to handle data processing for a specific area. Micro data centers resemble mini data centers. They are simply smaller versions of traditional data centers, having a smaller physical footprint and could be as small as a school locker. Cloud data center. Cloud data centers are typically used to provide cloud services such as Amazon Web Services, AWS, Microsoft, Azure, IBM Cloud, or other public cloud providers. Data center security. Data centers are integral to businesses as they store critical information, applications, and services used every day. So companies need to protect these centers with adequate security measures. Failing to do so can lead to a harmful data breach where a sensitive company, or even worse, customer data can be leaked or stolen. Such breaches can greatly blow the company's finances and trustworthiness. Data centers demand top-notch security to protect their sensitive and large equipment. This includes both tangible and electronic security measures. The physical aspect of security is crucial as the machinery involved must be safeguarded. 
Bearing in mind, data centers can't use regular fire extinguishing methods due to the potential water damage to electronics. Digital security involves confirmed identification methods for authorized users, such as multi-factor authentication and software like firewalls to keep unauthorized users at bay. Cloud Data Access Explained Cloud data access is when you reach data stored in the so-called cloud instead of on a local or nearby server in your business or home. It means your data is stored somewhere physically, yet accessible from anywhere, while someone else takes care of the underlying system for you. A vast number of businesses have made the switch to cloud storage for their data management and operational needs. This shift entrusts certain data access and security responsibilities to public cloud service providers, simplifying access to real-time data for clients. Cloud-based data can be retrieved by visiting the website or app of the cloud services provider, and well-known providers include Google Drive, iCloud, Gmail, and Dropbox, among others. Your data is stored on physical servers managed by these companies and can be accessed via any device on the internet. This highlights that not only cloud storage providers utilize data access tools to offer services to their clients. Businesses with clients accessing their cloud can meet their needs swiftly. Clients just need to input their login credentials, after which they can view their saved content or data. It's crucial to remember that a data user should only be able to view the data they're authorized to access in a cloud data store, not all of it. This is where cloud access control enters the picture. Take Netflix as an example, a leading force in video streaming services. When you log into your Netflix account in the US, you'll only see movies and TV series from the US catalog. But if you log in from abroad, you'll see titles from their local catalog. Data Protection A large number of companies have already moved their data handling and operations to the cloud. This means that the responsibility for some parts of their data accessibility and protection now rests with the providers of public cloud services. Plus, it provides clients with an easier way to instantly access their data. In simple terms, these companies keep your data on physical servers, and you can access it via the internet on any device. So, it's clear that data access tools are used by more than just cloud storage providers to offer client services. The world of cloud computing and data storage is continuously evolving, with new technologies being introduced daily. So, do you think a time will come when physical data centers become obsolete as more companies switch to virtualization methods? Let us know in the comments below. With that, like and share the video and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more upcoming amazing updates from the tech world. Catch you on the flip side.